Central to the machine ethos is the ability to sample from the hardware controller. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm going to use Soundflower to take audio from the internet to process within machine. Soundflower is a piece of software that enables you to route audio within the Mac to different locations. This makes it great for recording the output of various audio programs, including from your browser. So with Soundflower now active and the output set to my built-in output, I can go to System Preferences, to Sound, and now to route the output to Soundflower. So you can see here Soundflower to Channel. Well, with this set, any audio that comes from my computer system will be routed via Soundflower. This now means that I can choose Soundflower as an input on machine and record it. So to do this, I need to bring up the machine software and I need to go to File, Audio MIDI Settings. I'm going to change the routing device to Soundflower 2 channel and make sure that the audio inputs are set to Soundflower 2 channel. There you go. You can see the input there is now set up. So I'm now going to set up a new group on E and go to my sampling page. Now you can see here on the left screen that currently we have the source set to internal, but by switching this across, I can set this to an external stereo input. Now you can see here as well that I can either have the sampler working in sync with machines so that when I hit play, it will start to sample, or we can have this set to detect, which works by detecting the audio input level and triggering the recording as soon as the level threshold is met. Now, on top of that as well, I can also, under sync mode, set the length of the sample. So, for example, if you're recording loops, you can set it to one, two, four bars and have perfect loops made. But for what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave that set to detect. You can see there the threshold. So now, what I need to do is to go back to my browser, and you can see here uh, Luke from the Music Making Friday Forum Live. And if I bring this in, Come along to Friday Forum Live, broadcasting to you I'm direct just turn that from up there. You can see now that we've got level going in. London, where I'm joined by. So let me just bring this back again, and I'm going to turn down the threshold. And then I'm going to hit the start button to start recording. Welcome along to Friday Forum Live, broadcasting to you direct from Point Blank Music School here in East London, where I'm joined by... So once I've got uh, that, DJ I can then stop the recording, and, Blank, and you can see that we've got this recording. Now, the level on this is fairly low, but once this is into the sampler, we have the full degree of sampler functions that we can use to manipulate the audio. So, for example, I can go on to Edit here, and under these menus here, I've got the ability to truncate, time stretch, etc. But I'm going to go ahead here and click over to Normalize to bring up the level. And now we can see on this pad. Welcome along to Friday Forum Live, broadcasting to you direct from Point Blank. We have the sampled audio in, in here. East London, where I'm joined. On the left-hand screen, you can see now that I'm able to dial my way through. So I'm looking for a particular phrase. Point Blank Music School here in East London, where I'm joined. So once I've done that, I can then choose the end. And then what I can do is I can use these functions again to truncate that. Now, once I've done this, great feature here is I can slice up the audio. So by clicking on Slice, I've split this into four different sections. And you can see that it's now mapped these out across the pads. Point Blank Music School here in East London. Point Blank and what I can then do Point Blank is I can now go in and adjust each of these. So go into Edit Mode. Point Blank Music Point Blank. And you'll see here. Point Blank. Point Blank. Point blank. And I can music go in school, music school and make music adjustments. Here in here in here in here in East London. 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 Like that. London. Once the slices are chopped up. Point blank music school. Here in East London. I can then hit apply. And this will cut everything up onto the pads and move it onto a new group, as you can see. Point blank music school. Here in East London. So when I bring this in. Here in East London, point blank music score. Here in East London, point blank music score. Here in East you can hear the playing on each of the individual pads. Now, the thing is with this as well, if I bring up the machine to software, you can see that we've got them here. And I can make adjustments to these. So that we can create various different rhythms. 
under point blank music like so. In East so once we've done that as well, you've also still got the sampling features as you can see here on the screen. So I can also then go in and adjust them. I can also then start adding effects. So if I go up to shift and browse, we can go to the group and we can add all sorts of effects. So and then I can move across like this. That's all looking good. Move across again. And we can add something else. Like that maybe. Or we can go through and you have lots of... Let's go for a lo-fi instead. Like this. So once I've done that, then we can obviously play around with the effects. So let me just bring that back to this frequency shifter. get all sorts of things that we can do with this. So as you can see, sampling in machine is a quick and intuitive process.